We're putting forward credible, deliverable policies in the national interest. Policies like capping energy prices to support working families, like protecting workers' pensions from irresponsible bosses, bringing in new mental health laws to end injustice. That is the positive message that you will be taking out on the streets in your campaigns in the coming weeks. Strong and stable leadership in the national interest. Did anyone in your cabinet, including Greg Clark, ever oppose your energy price cap? And if I may, Prime Minister, could you clarify, are you actually guaranteeing that prices will not go up year on year? What, uh, what we've done is looked at the results that the uh, Competition Authority, the Independent Competition Authority found when they looked at the energy market here in the UK. They found that the customers of the six largest suppliers in a year were paying £1.4 billion more than they would have done if there was a truly competitive market. I think in those circumstances it's right, as does everybody sitting around the cabinet table, for government to take action to support working families. And what we're talking about is a cap on energy prices uh, that will be set by an independent regulator and that will be a reflection of uh, the market and will ensure that people, and it will, crucially, it'll be possible for that cap to move, but the independent regulator will set it. Prime Minister, when Ed Miliband announced an effective cap on energy prices, David Cameron accused him of wanting to live in a Marxist universe. Are you now living in a Marxist universe? No. First of all, we're conservatives. We believe in free markets and competition, but we want to see competition working. As I say, the Competition Authority has shown that customers of the six largest energy suppliers in a year are paying £1.4 billion more than they would do if there was a truly competitive market. But you're wrong. Ed Miliband didn't suggest a cap on energy prices. Ed Miliband suggested a freeze on energy prices that would have frozen them so people paying above the odds would have continued to pay above the odds and, crucially, the prices could not have gone down. Our cap, under our cap, prices will be able to go down.